Hi, this is John from Chicago and welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you the um, Newbie Drone Hummingbird F4 Pro. It's been out for um, about three months now and um, I've had a number of people ask uh, when am I going to do a Newbie Drone uh, review. <laughs> so here it is. Um, they, their warehouse or their office is in San Diego, so the shipping is fairly quick, although this is coming up to Christmas, so uh, mine's taken an extra six days from what it originally said, but normally you get, the sh uh, get them in about five, six days. Um, let's see, the price on this um, is $80, which is quite good. Most of your newbie drones, um, Tiny Whoops, run about $120. Uh, it, the way they do it is they keep everything pretty, um, they don't add a lot of extras. You get a, stand, a little cardboard uh, box that this is kept in. There's no extra props or no batteries. Um, they do charge for shipping, I think it's $5.00 if it's under a hundred dollars which this is so to get it over the hundred dollars they also make these wonderful batteries they're the nitro uh, nectar uh, batteries and uh, i bought a set of four of them for twenty five dollars a little over six dollars a piece and that what that does is it brings it up over a hundred dollars so you get the free shipping uh, the motors have these gold tops on them they're uh, 08 O2 motors, they're 18,000 kV. Most of your tiny whoops are 19,000 kV or a little higher. Uh, but to get by with the lower K, a little bit lower kV, they use a four bladed prop instead of the three bladed props. Um, the ESCs on here are uh, 12 amp ESCs. Uh, they're flashed uh, with 48 kilohertz uh, JESC um, software, which gives them a little bit longer uh, flight time per battery. Um, you're, I was getting anywhere from three minutes to four minutes, so I would say three and a half minutes running it pretty good, uh, which is quite good. Uh, but again, these are on great batteries, um, but uh, still the flight time is good. I think even if I use the standard uh, battery uh, GNB or something, uh, you're still going to get long flight times. Um, let's see, the um, receiver in here is a um, SPI receiver. It's built on, uh, on a board that's connected to the camera and um, it's diversity and uh, I was dying to see how it works so uh, I'll, it works good but I'll show that in my um, range test coming up uh, how good it worked. Uh, let's see the camera um, it's good I'd say okay to good uh, my favorite camera for these tiny whoops have been the Ant, then the Ant Light, then probably the uh, Run Cam 3 um, and this would follow that I think in quality. Uh, it's it's good for compared to a lot of the other ones that are out. The uh, dry weight is uh, 23 grams which is near the higher end and the all up weight is 31.4 grams with a nitro nectar gold battery. Uh, for the thrust test I was getting 88 grams of thrust with a power to weight ratio of 2.8. This puts it near the middle of the group uh, for these tiny uh, whoops at this size. Uh, now I'm doing an outdoor uh, range test and this really shined at uh, tied for the best. Uh, this only has a 25 milliwatt uh, VTX and it has an SPI receiver. It does have a dual um, um, can, uh, antennas on this uh, so it does fairly good. Right now we're coming up to the 165 meter point and the video is just beginning to break up a little bit at uh, this path coming up right here is at 200 meters and we are going out to the field. That white fence at the very end is 300 meters and I've only had one other tiny whoop uh, at 65 millimeters that made it. Uh, that's the Asheen uh, US 65 Pro. Uh, so this uh, tied the um, record for length on these small tiny whoops. Um, here I'm turning and heading back. I had a real strong headwind today, uh, this day, uh, 22 miles an hour, and it was taking its time, but uh, it started to break up the video. I'm, it just might have been the angle I was flying at, um, so I had to put her down um, here. 
Now for the indoor uh, speed test. Um, the times varied for these tiny whoops from 8 seconds up to a little bit above 13 seconds, and this one averaged 10 seconds per lap. It was quite, quite um, consistent on 10 seconds. Uh, even the three or four laps that I did after this and before this, they were all 10 seconds per lap. It flies really good, and that's why it has such a loyal following. Newbie drones, they uh, do a good tune on them. Um, now we're going outdoors. The outdoor track, um, a, they times varied again from about 10 seconds up to 14, 15 seconds. This is closer to the top instead of the middle. And one of the problems, though, is has a fixed camera angle. So I'm looking at the ground when I'm flying. I'm not looking out front. So I'm not giving it as much throttle as what I should be. So I think if it had an adjustable camera angle on there, I could get even get a little bit faster. But overall, this is pretty good at 11.3 um, seconds per lap average. Now here's a spreadsheet uh, showing all the uh, test results and the specifications. Um, let's see, some of the high, uh, power to weight ratio at 2.9, uh, that was probably near the middle for this class. Uh, indoor time, 10 seconds again, near the middle. Outdoor time of 11.3 seconds per lap was a little bit faster than the average. And the range test of 30, uh, 300 uh, meters was tied for the best. And also had uh, real good um, flight times of three and a half minutes uh, when you're pushing it pretty hard. Um, overall, I gave it a value of four, a durability of four, a camera rating of three, and a fun factor of four and a half for an average of 3.9, which puts it near the middle of these tiny whoops. For pros, uh, this has a good tune and it flies really good. It also has the longest, uh, fairly long flight times at three and a half minutes per battery. And the uh, range of the VTX and RX was one of the best at 300 meters. For cons, uh, the fixed camera tilt, uh, I think, is a, a problem for those that want to go fast. Um, I think if that had an adjustable camera angle, it would make the uh, times a little quicker on the outdoor course. It also... Um, is on the heavy side as a con. It's 23 grams, uh, where uh, Mobula 6 is down at 20 grams. Uh, so it's the second uh, heaviest uh, of the quads, and it's in the mid-range for speed and um, most of the uh, power areas. Um, but overall, it's a good quad, and I recommend it. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave those below. And this is John from Chicago, and thanks for walk watching. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.